What's good, everybody? It's your boy Chuck Diesel, aka the Lone Wolf, checking in once again for another episode of Sake Sundays. We're saying a thank you to our sponsor, Sake High, and another thank you to our other sponsor, God's Favorite Jewels. You know, I mean, with my bracelets, and you can't see, but I'm wearing a stone underneath. Let's get it. And today we have, go ahead and introduce yourself. CEO Mondo California 2020 Vision. On 2020 Vision, see clear, you feel me? Mm -hmm. um, tell the people a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and what it is you do. Oh, man. From Compton, California, you know, uh, raised, you know, born in Eaglewood, you know what I mean? Uh, I run a company that, uh, that promotes and forward uh, independent artists, you know, um, and all types of uh, backgrounds as far as like music go, uh, visuals, uh, product, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm the head of the company, so, you know. So you mainly work with music artists? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then you handle everything with them from their production, from, performances, do you handle their merch and everything as well? Merch, everything, you know, uh, essentially what I build uh, with 2020 is a one-stop shop for the artists. That's beautiful. You know what I mean? So how many artists do you think you work with on a consistent basis? Ooh, um, well, if I date back uh, maybe the past three years, I'll say maybe uh, 10, 12. Right now, I'm managing um, two. One is uh, uh, Cartier, um, kind of R&B, uh, dance hall, um, Afrobeat, fusion. And, male or female? Uh, he's a male. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and uh, they kids kind of plunk hip-hop. Called a uh, young division. How old are they? Uh, from sixteen to nineteen. Right. So it's three in the group. Yeah. Bad. And then how'd you like become their managers? And first, how'd you meet them? And then how'd you start managing them? Well, um, the uh, young division. Um, um, they're made up of uh, two of my sons and um, their friend. Right. Um, my son, he's a writer, but he don't really like the, uh, the, the spotlight and things like that. Yeah. Uh, Dice, their friend, he wants to be, you know what I'm saying, he wants to be a rapper and, you know what I'm saying, producer and things like that. So they kind of come in basically fused to give their, you know. Uh, They're like part of the whole. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Dice raps, uh, uh, Jay Allen, he writes, and uh, uh, Miles. He's on the visuals. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they make up the group. You know what I mean? I mean, as an artist, you need to have a team. So it's beautiful that they already Art, yeah. have established, like, I'm good at this and you're good at that. So you do this part and I do that part. Yeah. Like, I'm coming along too. You know what I mean? I got to uh, step in a little bit, but I I don't like like to micromanage. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I say my groups, but my group, um, you know, especially when the men so young, they still got that creative, you know what I'm saying, hunger, you know what I mean? So I let them get in the studio and just, you know, grow and, um, you know what I'm saying, see what they come up with and then kind of just oversee, yeah. you know what I mean? Then I got uh, Cartier, you know, he's uh, dropping this uh, first EP, uh, Evolution of Cartier. Oh, yeah. When's it coming out? Anger. Um, we haven't, we, we haven't uh, decided on a date. Cause we just signed this uh, distribution deal with Sony Music, so I'm getting oh, yeah. everything, you know, uh, under wraps with them or whatever like that. But I say um, early summer. All right, bad. I say early summer. Yeah, oh, big bad. Though. Uh, two questions. First is just uh, for people who don't know, as a manager of a musician, just explain a little bit of like what your role is. Um, you know what? I'm I'm unorthodox. You know what I'm saying? Like, at, like I and I say I'll say that you know in any facet you know of what I do. You probably couldn't define it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you go to a dictionary and you read what a manager does, you know what I mean? Mine more so comes from the caring of what they need, you know what I mean? So, that 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 I come from an aspect of what they need, you know what I mean? If they need shows, they need to get in the studio more, if they need visuals, if you know what I mean? Shit, it's, it's, Something like something as simple as setting them up, you know, on Saki, you know, podcast, you know what I'm saying? Oh, for like, check, yeah, you know what I mean? PR and yeah. like, sit yeah. down and get Yeah, it's, 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 it's all stuff, stuff, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm, uh, I'm an artist, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I've, I, uh, my accolades go, you know what I'm saying, from streaming, you know what I'm saying, high numbers, you know what I mean, selling records, touring, you know what I'm saying, with artists you know, and you know what I'm saying, you may not know, you know what I mean? Um, so... I've been through every facet of the game or whatever like that. So it's my 
I feel like my 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 job to you know bestow that upon them. You know what I'm saying? Things that they do and don't. You know what I mean? But for the most part, you know what I mean. I let an artist be an artist. You know what I mean? If you with 2020, you know what I'm saying? Like our motto is to know the vision. So you know what I'm saying? You have to basically go through its failures. You know what I'm saying? To actually get to get its successes and no, for sure. You know what I'm saying. Oh, what do you think have been some of the failures? I don't even say failures. Some of the things that didn't work the way you wanted them to that you feel like prepared you for the level that you're on now. Oh man, um, man, everything. You know what I'm saying? Working with producers. You know what I'm saying? Um, engineers, uh, how managers, promoters. Huh? How are the failures? Like, um, those experiences. Like, what are some of those experiences that didn't work? I think the main one is you know what I'm saying. Working with somebody that actually care about you know what I mean your career. You know what I mean? I care about your career, but also know that your career is helping them develop their career. You know what I mean? And a lot of people is for self. You know what I mean? So that's helped me, you know what I mean? Be a better mentor, manager, you know what I'm saying? Um, CEO. Because I care. You know what I'm saying? I care about the artists. What are some of the uh, like performances that you have won? been a part of yourself and then to some of the performances that have helped with your artists in developing that. Um, well, I mean, let's just talk about AI. Yeah, I love, you know what I'm saying, their brand and uh, a lot of things we've been doing is, uh, from last year to now this year, setting up tour all around the country and things like that. Uh, I've developed a Cartier stage presence, you know what I'm saying, through AIA and I've seen him grow and you know what I mean just from the way that he approached the crowd you know what I mean his vocal you know what I'm saying tone switch up his energy you know what I mean things of that nature I, uh, I think it's uh he's looking pretty well you know what I mean yeah <laughs> uh, what are in your opinion some of the like biggest three aspects as a performer like doing a live performance that you need to be aware of um and I, I say this, you know, like, depending, like, you know I mean? I come from a hip-hop background, you know. Um, I say enunciation, you know what I mean? Like, allowing the crowd to actually hear your vocals, you yeah. know what I mean? Hear your vocals. Um, this is sometimes a taboo, you know what I mean? Like, and I say this, you know what I mean? Eye-to-eye contact, you know what I mean? But when you, when you get to a level... Yeah, I mean, you get to my my level, you're able to do it. You know what I'm saying? But I do tell artists, you know what I mean, because they have they have the butterflies, or you know what I'm saying? They they nervous. You know what I mean? Pick a spot in the wall, uh, back of the room, and, and focus. You know what I'm saying? Focus on. Um, but uh, I think that's that's a big uh, big part of it. Basically, you know what I'm saying? In some way, engage. You know what I'm saying? Yourself with with your crowd. Um, I'd also say, you know what I mean, call and response is all also call good, response you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, if you can, uh did you say three or we just you know, oh, you, can. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Uh, a mic check. Mic check is uh if you're able to get a mic check in, you know what I mean? That's at least with one record of yours, you right? Know what I mean? So just you just know what it sounds like, you can hear like yourself it. back like exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um Check in with the DJ, you know what I'm saying? Whoever DJ, you know what I mean? Build a relationship, you know what I'm saying? Get familiar. You might see him again. You know what I'm saying? You might see him again. Um, if you can get your own DJ, you know what I mean? That's a big plus, no, you know what I'm saying? Um, set list, you know what I mean? A lot of times, you know what I'm saying? Like your set list is is, is very important depending on yeah, the crowd you're about to, you know what I mean? Always, also, I always look at kind of like, you know what I mean? Because I'm a competitive person. I play sports, you know what I mean? It's you versus the crowd, you know what I mean, and their energy. Yeah. You know what I mean, and uh, I feel like I feel like if you know sometimes you know what I mean with folks that may have, may or may not have heard you before, or they they're not familiar with your records, or they've heard it maybe once or twice. You know what I mean. You might get them just sitting there, you know, and they pop. Not really doing bit. anything. Yeah, you know what I mean. But I like to challenge folks. You know what I'm saying that I in our. Um, I challenge my artists to challenge folks when 
You see they're not, not, not doing one that. Headed in it. Yeah, go, oh, yeah. go approach them. You yeah. know what I mean? And you feel me? Because they will normally give you good back. And if, if you, you, you start ask, looking right at you know them, you put them on blast, bro. You put them on blast. Them on blast they're like, all right, <laughs> all right. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Then they start paying attention to the song. You know what I'm saying? Start paying attention. Look at they look at the person in front of them. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, no. Yeah, you know. That's something that personally I've started doing more is actually walking up to people or like like you said, when they're not 100 or even 50% engaged, yeah. I just stare right at them. Right. Or I'll walk up to them and rap right to you them. Know, you, you know, because it kills me sometimes like you, you know what I mean? You want to sing, you know what I mean? Like that. It's, you know, um, shows we're doing now, you know what I'm saying, are, are pretty much good. The clubs are packed out, you know what I'm saying, 150 to 300 folks, you know what I'm saying, every show. Um and you get folks that's up in there, it's like you came out to listen to live music. You know what I mean? You obviously either there for, you know what I'm saying, for your particular, the particular artist that you came to see, they've either performed or they're not on stage yet. Just, you know what I'm saying? And all these artists are talented that's hitting the stage, you know what I'm saying? I, it's, I, I, tell, I tell every artist that I work with, challenge the crowd. You know what I mean? Because they're challenging you. You know what I mean? No, it impressed me. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Waiting to hear something that is different or is that's good, like yeah. undeniably good. Because if the song is fire, fire, it doesn't matter if you're an R&B singer. It doesn't matter if you're a rapper. If the song is fire and your energy is like outward and not inward or on the stage, if you can actually project your energy, people will start to look up and start to listen. And it's really just a matter of finding how you do it because different artists do it in different ways. Some artists are good at talking before their song and it just gets you attached to them as a person because you think they're funny or they remind you of you, you feel me? Or they just got good energy. different you know voices. Yeah. And you're just like, that came out of that person? I didn't expect that to come out that skinny old body, big old voice, you feel me? And so it's like leaning into your strength as an artist to figure out what it is that you use to capture the crowd. And then uh, another thing you said, those call and responses, is like that's something that I've been trying to incorporate more because it Talk automatically the no. gets them involved. Yeah. Before you even start the song, you already have to be invested because I'm asking you to talk now. Right. No music. Right. Oh, you know, yeah. Those are two big things in the middle of Then on top of it, too, with, um, you know, as an exec, you know what I mean? A lot of spots I'm in, if I'm hitting the stage, my uh, my artists are hitting the stage, you know what I mean? I'm there, I'm there you know what I mean? I'm, I'm going to give you real 175 to 80% as an exec. You know what I mean? I'm looking, I'm scouting, you know what I mean? Um, and what I've noticed, you know what I mean, is that what goes back to, like, the DJ and the sound system, you know what I mean? Sometimes your records, you know what I mean? aren't as fluent, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you're not hearing them, you know what I'm saying, how you would hear it if you, you know what I mean, throw it on the MP3 or whatever like that and has it, have it booming in your in your, your car system or something like that, or you're in the studio and you can actually hear the yeah. song, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, a lot of, um, what I'm noticing, it's not a lot of bad music out there, man, it's not a lot of bad music, you know what I mean, especially when you can hear it like that, um, so, I, you know what I mean, like, uh, I think it's just, you know what I'm saying, like, um, what it comes down to is the energy. I'm saying the energy and the engagement. So how long have you been an artist? Um, 17 years. And what made you start making music? Oh man, man. my story, you know what I'm saying, is a little different. You know, so I uh I come up with a with a with a with a uh with a crew, you know what I'm saying? A couple actually. Um uh the attic, um out of the bay, I want to do that. The attic, out of the bay. Um, I used to have this crew, uh, group uh, called the Doom Click, a younger group. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, I started rapping, uh, and it was kind of just kind of like a, like a pastime. You know what I'm saying? I was a football player, so yeah. you know what I mean. Like I had dreams of going to the league. You know what I mean? I hear you. But um, when I uh, I always had a passion for it, though. I always loved, you know what I'm saying, like music, just, you know what I mean, um, the legends before me, you know what I mean? Who do you consider the legends? Just give me five. Here we go. Top five. Yeah, we out here with the top five. Top five. <laughs> no, we have the top five. It's five. The first five that come to mind. Uh, Biggie. All right. 
Jay Z, yes, Pac, okay, Nas, yep. Drake. Okay, all right. Most people don't give it to Drizzy if you put them up on the list. You feel me? You said you know, Pac and Drake, Drake on there. It, it teeters. It teeters between Drake and, and Eminem in that fifth spot. I hear and that's that. my line of how to go. And see, if you would have said Eminem, I wouldn't been surprised. But it's more so because of the time frame. Yeah. Because Eminem came up still when the sound was more like those artists. Drake, I won't say it was completely not. But all his records where he was rapping in the same sound and time aren't the ones that people are running to and putting him on blast for. So I like Drake. He's going to be one of my favorite rappers. It's just you don't hear him in the top five with those names. He's often. into those conversations or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm we in the industry right now. Though. So, oh, but fuck it though, man. Look, hey, I'm always going to be that person that's real, real as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like Drake is sitting right here. I took him to his face. You know I mean? Oh, look. I'm, he fell off with views. I mean, yeah. after views. I didn't like views. I didn't like you. I said, I said to myself, I'm, you know what I'm saying, just as a fan of music, yeah. you know what I'm saying, and a fan of his, yeah. it got to it, it got to views. Yeah. And then after that, it's I when said, it started to get. Deteriorate. Oh, it never goes Don't say, I'm going to say this. I say this. Stop focusing on the first fans. You feel me? The four listeners yeah, wasn't the focus. Oh, man, I'll let him I won't say he let us down completely because you get songs, anything that has 6 a.m., p.m., or a.m. in it, or Brittle Path, something about Path. He's about to snap, bro. And it's on some big bars. But anything outside of that, you don't know until you hear it. And it's like, don't get, don't get me wrong. Drake still it's got hard. that shit. You feel me? He still, you know what I mean? But it's it's not as... It's subjective. No, no. We're not subjective. It's, like, like, uh, it's not as uh, it's, consistent. And I don't even say consistent. It's not... I almost say consistent too, but it's like reg what's dropping on it a regular like the basis. Is there no more. He seemed like you know what? He seemed like one of those teams that you probably say like like the Lakers. Yeah. They play to the Dynasty. potential. Yeah. No, they play they play to the potential of their opponent. I hear you. Like you're right, saying, right, right, right. There's like, no real competition the, right yeah, now. So it's like right. you know, exactly. You yeah. get on the song with Twenty One Savage, he ain't got to bar too much. You know but I mean? at the same time, the song with Twenty One is already about to be hard, and I think that's why he likes rapping with Twenty One because Twenty One is hard. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a honey. I did like something to say. Hey, we take a shot. Let's take a shot. Yeah. It's super smooth. But uh, 21, it took, I don't remember what song. It was on his first uh, mixtape. My cousin, he just looking at me like this. And I was like, turn this shit off. <laughs> like, what is this? And then one of the songs came on, and I was just like, I think it's Slaughter Gang shit. And I was like, but what? I don't know, because I listened to like the fifth song on the mixtape and something about the flow, how simple it was, but it was on the same level of hype. Like the Migos was what was booming. And so it was like the energy was as hype, but his delivery was like he was sitting there like this. And then I, I uh, really, I found his life story. I found him talking about what made him go to music. And then I went and listened to his music again and I respected it. See, and that's, that's what builds an artist, you know what I mean? Like, and I say more so nowadays because you can go and basically find out more yeah. about them. That's why I think talent trumped everything back then. Cause because you hard to find anything else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? And you know what? Hey, you speaking of it, man. I don't know, man. We about to just get into it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, maybe I've been looking for a platform, man. I'm probably <laughs> oh, not, you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you, do you feel, okay, we got to talk about Buster Rhymes, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, Buster. Buster. Buster, now, everybody, listen to your boy. Buster is one of the greatest of all time, definitely in my top 10, you know what I'm saying? Period. So what I'm about to say does not, you know what I'm saying, tarnish him. Right, and if you listen in Buster... You feel me? If you have an opinion, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Listen, listen. And, you know, this is a conversation I've been having among my peers. You know what I'm saying? Certain colleagues, you know what I mean? Do you think he snapped? Oh, on Look At Me Now? Yes. <sighs> Fuck it. Hey. Bro, this is, look, I've been having this conversation. You know Because, look, on first listen, you're just like, oh. overload, overload, no, overload, no. overload. No. But as a rapper, you feel me? Once I start trying to rap along with you and I realize you say, 
I'm Pull banging in the east sheet. and I'm banging in the west. I, and I I'm banging, banging on my chest. Like I, what? I'm banging on my chest. I'm banging in the east. I'm banging in the west. Shit. I came to give you more and I will never give you less. So as a rapper on the technicality side, can I have came up with that flow and scheme? Yes. Probably not. Yes. I don't think I have the... Yes. I would have had the urge in me to deliver the cadence that way. You feel me? Yeah. I'm respecting yes. the cadence. So fifth, but when you say the fifth bar... Grader, fifth grader that can... That can, that can they wouldn't have delivered it like that. The pepper, you know they saying? wouldn't have delivered it like that. It's the delivery with the breath. So, so oh. let me ask you. Let me ask you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let me you ask feel you. Me? Yeah, and that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, we be on... You feel me? It's at least three or four MCs, and I know Redman is one of them. Mm-hmm. Did the same style. But came off. I'm not man. saying nobody else has. You know, you know, man, look, I'm look, just saying look. that's the reason so, why but I had to justify you, why people thought the verse was so hard. <laughs> like, and that's all so, I can so think of. So I'm going back. Now, the record is dope. The record is dope. The beat, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah. Um, Tunchi. He came off. You feel me? He came, he came off. The, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? You, you wait. But I'm going to keep it real with honey, man. I feel like Buster got on that record. And I don't know this, but this is what I'm saying. Buster got on that record, and he looked at who was rapping on that <laughs> record. And he said, all I'm going to do is just basically do my tongue twisted style, and they ain't going to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> no, but this is like, the thing. Chris Brown told him to do a verse. He was in this like, same studio. And then apparently Chris Brown told him that he had to come harder than his original like first take. Because he didn't do. And so that was him. All right, I'm going to switch it up. And he did the really fast rap. So. <laughs> I bet that right. first verse was ill as fuck. I bet that first verse was ill as fuck. And they didn't like it. And, and they, yeah, because I, I don't know what the fuck yeah. that shit was. No, I, like, when I first heard it, I said, you're not about to fool me with that shit, bro. You're not about you not. It took me like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, that's bust the fucking rhymes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up listening to the, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude, like, you feel me? Like, you it was not. Actually, it was you not. Flow. You know what I'm saying? It was the flow. It was the flow verse. It was, it was the, it, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, and the, what, what fucks with me, but it doesn't fuck with me because I don't give a fuck anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my man made money off of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got whatever. Song blew up. Song blew, you it's know what I'm saying? Did, did what it did, you know what I'm saying? So this okay. is just my opinion. My, yeah. my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Go ahead, Buster. Go through my lyrics and critique my shit, too. You know what I'm saying? It's all ill shit up in there. You feel me? But look, look. You know what I mean? But if you find, if you find that it's not, that's your opinion. But look, this is my opinion. He ain't talk about shit on that motherfucker nah, first. Like, I'm not gonna pull up the fucking lyric sheet. You pull up the lyric sheet. Like <laughs> I, I learned the verse. I didn't even, I don't need, I learned the verse. I, once I learned the verse, I was just like, okay, cool. Cool. Man, I, I, look, man, I don't know, man. I'm just using the platform or whatever. Because I'm sitting here talking about it with, you know what I'm saying? Like, legends in my eyes, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I feel like. Out of all the great shit that this man has uh, done, bangers, like, you know what I'm saying? Just the whole fucking album, The Big Bang, you know what I'm saying? Whole shit, dope as fuck, you know what I'm saying? Every other album he's done before that, dope as fuck. Shit that he put out, be dope as fuck. He gets praise on this one verse that's trash. And that's because it's the age now, you feel me? His no. music then... I People think, aren't going back to listen you know, to it. I, I don't you, know what eighteen year old is listening like, to Buster Rhymes' music, bro. That's why that gets praised because they don't know his music. It's not because his man, other music's not bus, better. Man. They know, you know bro. I know his music, but only know his like big hits for real. And it's like you feel me? It's like I couldn't name. Oh, you talk about him now? That's what I'm saying. But he was getting like, praised for it then. No, but well, okay, they, I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah you talk about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, got you. Yeah, that's not his heyday. He was still hard. He's still hard. He still gets his. That was a But it's like even with Jay Z, bro. I don't know now. One person who's like in their twenty fours, who's not a rapper. Who knows Jay Z's reasonable doubt, bro? Unless they're from New York or something. I don't know anybody who listens to old Jay Z. So it's not a matter of the music not being dope. It's the people who are picking the music don't know the dopest parts of these artists anymore. If you talk about Missy Elliott right now, they're going to say Missy Elliott and Sierra. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me, bro? It's not any discredit to them. It's just people don't know. So. And with the rate that music drops nowadays, bro, there's over 10,000 songs put out in a month on every streaming platform. And that's, I just said a, a small number. I know it's more than that. I think it might be 10,000 a day. Like, what are we talking about? 
Mm. So, as a manager, what is one thing that they you did that, like? They did that damn study on, you know what I'm saying? I want to say it came out last year, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, over a million. I know it was over a million. Oh, songs that didn't even get 100 streams? Didn't get one stream. Was it one? Yeah, one bro. Stream. It was over a million songs without one stream. But that's partially because people put music out with no type of execution, no promotion, no plan. They don't pay for any type of promo. And so that's one thing I was about to say is as a manager, whoops, what's something that you tell your artists to do in order to help them promote themselves and like cut through some of the noise? It's not one thing, you know what I'm saying? It's not one thing, y'all, you know what I mean? Like, I'm a creative individual, so you know what I'm saying? Like, I try, I try, it's, it's a trial and error. Yeah. Me, you know what I mean? I run ads, you know what I'm saying? It's word of mouth promotion. And it's like, it's different, it's very various facets of, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I say, you know, I run ads, you know what I mean? Like, I do research on, you know what I'm saying, who I've seen work with artists and you've seen their progress, you know what I'm saying? So I might, you know what I mean, run ads for a month on this just to see how that's moving. If it's not moving the way that I want to, just as far as streams and just uh, notoriety, you know what I'm saying? Like, get that, go to somebody else. I've been researching and things like that. Um, you use, like, different companies? I do. Yeah, I do. Um, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you have to. You no, know what yeah, because you know. sometimes you know what I mean. What they do for other artists may not work for no, you and your brand. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, I find that, uh, or at least for me, you know what I mean. Um, I've streamed millions. You know what I'm saying? With my with my last couple of few projects, um, a lot of word word of mouth. But I'll be in the streets though. You see. me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you were just like, saying you're know supposed saying? to be in Texas. Yeah, man. Like, I moved. You know what I'm saying? Um, just got this uh, distribution deal with Sony. Um, I feel like more notoriety, you know what I'm saying, is going to come from that but with their backing and helping uh, promote the records and stuff like that. Uh, you just got to go for uh, go for what you know and what you don't know. You know what I'm saying? You got to test out. Not for sure. That's the best way I can put it. So. And we we'll start this over real quick. It times out every thirty minutes, so we're just gonna be ahead. Of us to come and look at the fun like that. <laughs> like who wins this? <laughs> I right, hear another shot. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, we in, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It goes out to you, and you, and you. <laughs> so this uh, partnership with Sony. Tell me a little bit more about that. Oh. Uh, well, I landed the deal through the Orchid, uh, partnered um, with uh, FMG, uh, 4KS Music Group. Um, just signed it, signed the deal, or got the deal done um, before Christmas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, too much to tell, you know what I'm saying? Um, I signed, the, uh, signed Cartier and Young Division, you know what I mean, as to, to be the first uh, artist off the label to drop. Uh, with 2020 Vision, you know what I mean? And we got my project coming, so, you know what I'm saying? We dropping three records this year. So, just promoting, moving, you know what I'm saying? Meeting folks, connecting, you know what I mean? It's early in the year, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it seemed like me, uh, the music industry kind of shut down between that December point and South by Southwest. You know what I mean? And start kind of like bubbling, so. I think that, oh, what is it that you did in order to, you know, get the attention of people at Sony? Oh, well, shit. I mean, it's the 70, uh, 17 years of going, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's not just that, like, not just one thing. You know, it's moving, you know what I'm saying? Meeting, connecting people. I met the uh, CEO of um, Forecast Music Group, you know what I'm saying? He liked what we was doing. We actually met at a, a AIA show. We had just got off the stage, you know what I'm saying? Um, and um, he took interest in, he took interest in uh, what I was doing with AIA and... Um, my artist Cartier and money at the time, you know what I'm saying? Um, and start asking me about any other groups and things that um uh, artists that I'm working with and just kind of like he's picking my brain like the night or whatever, like that, you know what I'm saying? And uh said he'd like to do a deal with me. Um I looked over their uh literature, you know what I'm saying, just as far as like what they want out of it, what they can do for us. The rest is history. The rest is history, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of like being in the right place, the right time, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And having your work already backup, ready yeah. you know what i'm saying already like, having done the yeah, work yeah you know, let me I just sit here just saying yeah, man you know you know i'm a ceo and, and you know i can do this and i will do this and i was like already have this done you know what i'm saying this is already in place we already have the facility i got the artists you know what i mean the materials here producers you know what i'm saying we're ready to go do you have your own studio yeah okay. 
I feel like I invited you did. No, no I don't man, man, you coming down to you coming down to catch me. <laughs> no, that's why we here, bro. You you down to I don't know nothing other than your name, bro, and what I see on Instagram. You feel me? The first time I met you, you were like, I'm a CEO of a label, you feel me? And I have artists and then the ninja, we huh? got each other, you feel me? Contact number, follow each other on IG and said we'll be in contact. I saw you at the next show, we dap each other up and said, All right, that we'll talk. So I don't I don't know nothing other than what I seen on IG, bro. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Right. Right. We've been in relationships out here, though. I'm gonna definitely have to come down to the studio. Oh, for sure. Yeah, we got the facilities. Um, uh, um, studio A, Studio B. Um, studio A is more so for um, recording, uh, mixing, mastering, you know, what I'm saying things of that nature. Studio B is a uh, production room. You know, what I mean, uh, editing, uh, photo shoots, um, shoot videos in there. You know, what I'm saying. No, for Run sure. our own podcasts. I mean, things of that nature. How long have you had the space? Uh, five years. Wow, five that's years a long Six. Good shit. Five years going on six years. Where is it based? It's, uh, it's in Eaglewood. Bro. Eaglewood local. This is right up the street. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Um, so, you said you were born and raised in Compton? Yeah. Well, I was born in Eaglewood. Right, right. Compton, born in Eaglewood, like, raised in Compton. Yeah. And have you been, like, living-wise outside of Cali before? Like, if you had to live outside of Cali, you... No state. I like Atlanta. I like Atlanta. You know what wow. I mean? I've I've toured there, you know what I'm saying, multiple times, man. I got connects up there, you know what I mean? Um I feel like the, you know what I mean, not not only like the music is thriving there, the black sure. in, uh, entrepreneur is thriving there. You know what I'm saying? But don't get it twisted. Don't think you can just go there. It's not a business. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I hear you. Like, you know what I mean? It's too it's so saturated with that. But I but yeah. I believe if you are there. You've had you have connections such, such as I. You know what I'm saying. You can do some numbers there. You no, know what I'm saying. Can. So um, I like Atlanta. Uh, I got folks out in New York. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, anything New, New York is too. <laughs> it's busy. It's like L.A. but the opposite. And when I'm talking about like you know what I'm saying, what like, you mean the opposite like weather. Like uh, it's like it's crowded. You know what I'm saying. Too much space. <laughs> I, I, I fuck with New York, you know what I'm saying? I just, I, I don't believe I can live there, you know what I'm saying? No, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you feel me? Um, but yeah, those are the two places, you know what I'm saying? Um, I lived up in the Bay, you know what I mean? Uh, a good part of my, uh, yeah, most of us, uh, my Southern County resident, you know what I'm saying? No, you feel me? Growing up on the Park Streets of Compton, you know what I mean? But, yeah. <laughs> What is something that you feel like you learned outside of music and like music business just from growing up that you took with you into music? Say so, you say outside of outside of music and music business. This is something that you either learned or was taught to you or an experience that helped you with your decision making as a musician or in the music business, but you didn't learn the lesson through music. Um, it's a couple things. Um, 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 um. Well, actually, no, just one thing, honestly, consistency, never giving up. And I kind of learned that through sports. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Uh, like I said, I played football, you know what I mean? And I, uh, I was real good. It was real good. Uh, just to, you know, um, you know, when I actually, you know what I'm saying, one of my colleagues, uh, um, dope ass artist, you know what I'm saying? He's wrote many hits, you know what I mean, that you know about actually, you know, uh, about the beach. Uh, his name is Spitfire. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Uh, and we had a conversation about uh, how, and this isn't just music, but we noticed how the the artists that was around us that didn't play sports that we knew about, they quit. No, it's about the reps and putting in the reps. Is like as an athlete, bro, training sucks, yeah. especially playing football. Especially playing football. Two days. Wait, I was about to say in the summer before school actually starts, when you don't have nothing else, so they just make you come for twelve hours. Hey, eight man, hours. Keep, man, if we just go and you know, jump into sports like football, you know what I mean? I always say that's why, like down south, they got some of the toughest football players that go. Because the, the conditions just suck. If you could take those shitty conditions in the summer and then go move, bro, to somewhere where it don't get hotter than that's seventy. Right, Bro, you yeah. outside every day working. Like, right. it's just a different mindset. It's mindset. a different mindset. Because, like, I was in Ohio, bro. So, the heat there wasn't consistently above 80, 90. You know, Alabama, 
Nigga, it's, it's 90 it's, every day. The sun is in the sky every day, yeah. beating down. So there's no water, like, nearby. Like That's what I would say, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, consistency. Like, you know what I mean? With this music shit, you have to be consistent. You know what I mean? Because you're going to come, you know what I mean? Everybody... You know what I mean? Your Jay Z's, your Drakes, your, you know what I mean? Your, your, your Timberlands, your, you know what I mean? Whoever, you know what I mean? They fail all the time. You may not see them because they're successful, you know, set to the level to where you know who they are. Right. You know what I mean? And they, de they definitely really ain't talking about it. You know what I mean? But they've gotten to a point to where they don't fail anymore because they're so consistent with getting something done. They like, all right, if this avenue don't work, I know to go to this avenue. That might not work. You know what I'm saying? I might gotta go this way. That might not work. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, you know what I'm saying? 30,000 different ways. Damn, I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? And they've learned that. You know what yeah. I mean? That's what, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, as a, as a, in my manager role, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm having a, a reoccurring problem with what I see with artists nowadays that yeah. I attempt to Boost extend up. my hand. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I can do a lot for a particular career. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just with my resources and what I've had, what I've built. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I look at it now, you know what I'm saying? Or more more so just like uh time. You know what I'm saying? And in time I can't get back. So right. a lot of artists that I've extended my hand to have ruined it for artists in the future because I feel like if I see a certain, it's like you know, what I mean? yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, like yeah. you dating a female, you know what I'm saying, right. you, you see red flags, uh, you, you tend to do. leave it alone if you've already been right. down that road, and start doing the same thing, you know like mm. yeah. So yeah. That, that, I don't see you know what I mean, like like for some reason that and, you know, I was talking. Um, I talk to a lot of folks, you know, not a colleague, you know what I'm saying. Um, Artists nowadays think that they say they, you know what I'm saying, they drop a record and it, blew up, and it blow, blow up. up. No, yeah. no, no. It does blow up. Yeah. They think that's it. They think they've made it. You haven't made it. You have to keep on doing and re recreating oh, that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna just get that record and just. Yeah, I'm here and everything is good for the rest of my life. My family paid for it. No. It doesn't work that. And sometimes you might even get a record that does good. Kind it of can bubble, do great. And it doesn't actually do something. It gets attention. You feel me? You get notoriety and attention. So now people are ready to watch you. But if you don't have a follow up, they're like, why don't you get me excited like, for it? Takes a point. And, and you know what I'm saying? I speak of her because you know what I'm saying? I see her continuing to grind. Erica Bank, that yeah. busted. But everybody was on no, that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I would say you don't hear about her, but, but you definitely don't hear about her as much. That song. But if you check on her, you see she's still Consistent. doing it. And you know what I'm saying? Like, trying, uh, uh, attempting to recreate. Yeah, switching that, it up. You know what I'm doing the same thing. You feel me? Yeah. Artists that I see, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's the majority of them, you know what I mean? Like the, the independent artists that, you know what I'm saying, that, that's going down, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're not consistent. They're not consistent and they're, they, you know what I mean, they use the words like, yeah, man, I want to be independent, but I want to help. No, that's the thing. A lot of people don't understand what a record label does, first off. They don't understand the amount of time and money that goes into promoting a record, a career, and an artist. And it's kind of just like you said, with football and playing sports, it's another shot, you go ahead and pour it up. Uh, football and playing sports, it's like you get conditioned to do it again, and then you get conditioned to do it in the game. Right. You feel me? As an artist, you don't really know what you're getting conditioned for until you keep going, you feel me? And so it's like just wanting it now because before you had to sacrifice a little bit more to even get access to a studio. Right. Even <laughs> just for me personally, the first time I went to the studio, I had to look it up like i didn't have anyone to ask and i couldn't get on instagram and find one like i literally had to get on google which isn't still isn't hard and then i started i don't remember 
I did something outside of Google to find studios. And then I started calling and emailing people. You feel me? You get on IG right now and message a studio owner who lives up the street. Or you can record on your phone. You got apps with your phone. You can send the stems out. There's like, there's videos on YouTube, IG, everywhere, TikTok, that'll tell you how to get songs ready to send out if you can't do it yourself. Right. Tell you what equipment you need. Like, bro, it's so much quicker to get information. So people put a song out and they think that's it. I have a good song. And I so think, that's what record see, labels do is they I make songs. Ruining it. it is. I think because it's you ruined. miss the whole team aspect and all the work that goes into it because you didn't have to know the producer. You didn't know he spent as much time as he did on making the beat. Once you hear the song back, you weren't in the studio with the engineer who spent five years learning how to mix. You feel me? You don't know what mixing is because you never took the time to even understand it because you know you weren't going to do it. And so they think the song is the... You feel me? The winning part of it. Right. All I got to do is get a good song. Right. If you start learning all the other pieces that go along with it, once you get the song, you'll be like, all right, so if it took all that to make this song, what is it going to take to make this song go big? Because that's a 10 different things. Exactly. And so it's just a different mindset because you get to see behind the machine. Now, bro, literally, people record songs on their phone, all the stems, no hate on it, and then they send it to somebody. That's it's a different process. And the way you can put songs out, you got Dish Your Kid, CD Baby. Like, bro, I remember the first time I recorded a song, I didn't know how to get it to anybody. I put it on my MySpace. That was the only thing I knew to do was put my it on my MySpace. MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So it was like SoundCloud came along. Everybody was making music. And then it became normal to be an artist in something that wasn't special because it was easily accessible. People look down on, oh, you're, you're a SoundCloud artist? Are you on SoundCloud? It was like, bro, SoundCloud's worth like a couple million. There are people who started their music careers off of SoundCloud who are worth a couple million. But people look down on it because of the ease of access when it was introduced to give people that ease of access. So it's just the whole mindset around the record label has, or the record business has been, I don't even know. People have to educate themselves on it and then they start making crazy. I, I saw a post today, you know what I'm saying? And I normally, I mean, Joe Budden's be saying some crazy. He just be saying things, shit. You know what I'm saying? But, but but you know what? Yeah. He's still some shout to the goat. He's still a goat, even you know, though he's yeah, a weirdo. He, he, you I always say weirdo because in LA that's different. I'm from Ohio. You say weird out there, niggas is fun. You call people weird out here. It's grounds to get beat up. <laughs> I mean, they, you know what I mean? Like me too. You know what I'm saying? You saying it, so I, I, it's your opinion. I just think he's you know saying I mean? weird like, shit. Like you know. You see this, he might say something about you. That's right, and he definitely would have an you know opinion. I, mean? I know that. But I, I'll say it, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, some of you, you say some outlandish shit. Right, and that's why I said that. He said I outlandish like it though, shit. So maybe I don't really, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not mad. It's just be yeah. outlandish. He do, he do be having moments. You know, Where he makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say few. Because, you know what I'm saying? He makes sense sometimes. Nah, no, no, I hear you. Like, yeah, no, 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 I hear you. A lot of he makes sense. He makes sense. He's not a dumb yeah. person. It's just he say outlandish shit. Talking about the music <laughs> business and, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, who's making money and, like, you know what I mean? The artist that's not making money. Right. If you're making money, you're making some money off of something other than your music. Every artist but is big is. That's what the game has been for years yeah. now. Always. You know always. Big, no, not always. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, you had, have you always had, been a thing. Yeah. When you have, when you've had. Okay, so what are some of the things that musically you can make money off of? You know, you know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about like purely the song. Like, okay, so like, you know what I mean? Licenses and placements. Right. You can make money off of them, um, your music there. Um Streams if you that nigga. No. You, know <laughs> you know what though? They, you know what I'm saying? And, and this may be small, but it's definitely a large, a large step. You know what I mean? For somebody like me, streaming. You know what I'm saying? I stream. You know what I mean? My record stream. You know what I'm saying? You feel me like that? So I, they're talking about moving each stream to a team. Bro, that would be beautiful. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? That'd be beautiful. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I just, you know how I, crazy I, I, I just think? got a few hundred dollars, you know what I'm you saying? Know what I mean? uh, a few hundred dollars, you know what I mean? Um, um, a week ago. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I want to say for, for like three months or whatever. Like right. That, you know what I mean? So, give me that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like, you, you change it to a like, penny? You feel me? No. And that's from zero point zero zero zero. Bro, zero. We don't even talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you don't know how much you get paid for streams, just know that Apple, Spotify, Tidal, none of them are really paying the artists like that off of the stream. Nah. You gotta, if you hit a hundred thousand streams, you don't even make 
ten dollars in most of these cases. So you just leave it there. <laughs> like, and they got this shit where you know what I'm saying, like depending on how it's streamed, they they, they give you less or more. Yeah, bro, one hundred percent. So with Spotify, what they're looking at partially is the area the stream came from, so the country, the city, whether the person was logged into a Spotify account or a Facebook account, how long they played it for. Other, you feel me? Yeah, I'm, I'm hit, bro. I'm hit. Yeah. So. And then, uh, what was I about to say? Stop paying for them bots, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the thing. Sometimes you don't know. People will tell you all types of things. People will build websites, bro. Send you examples of people that work with. I mean, and then still I, use bots on your shit. But <laughs> if, if, if you run particular, if you run particular ads, and I say, like, your research. You got to you know look at it. Yeah. Your research. And, like, I'm going to keep the real 100, man. If you... Get 50 to 100 fans, you know what I'm saying, knowing when your record is going to drop. They going to they gonna stream your shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? They going to stream your shit, you know what I mean? And you're going to get, gonna get your money from those folks because oh, yeah. those are authentic streams. Core fans. They're, they're actually listening to your record. They're not paying, play, playing your record for 30 seconds right. to 40 they seconds. They on the playlist. Yeah, they got you saved. Yeah, no, 100%. So, you know what I mean? You just got to do the work. No, yeah. You just got to do the work. And that's where the getting in front of people comes real big and telling them to look you up yeah. in that moment. Look me up on X, Y, and Z. Follow me on X, Y, and Z. And then, you know what I'm saying, have your account to wherever you are. Distro kid, they all show it. Distro kid, CD baby. Oh, yeah, social Yeah, no, but, you know what I'm saying? I got, I'm logged into a database with Sony, you know what I'm saying, where they show me every fucking everything. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So I know exactly where, you know what I'm saying, my, my music is being listened to, you know what I mean? But CD Baby, Distro Kid, they all have, you know what I'm saying, a similar where, you know what I'm saying, they don't show you as much as how, you know what I'm saying, like like what I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying? But it show you where, you know what I'm saying, like your demographic is, you know what I mean? And where you can, like, you know what I mean, if you go into this city, you know what I'm saying? You know like, what cities did. Yeah, you know no, I mean? yeah. You can make some money. No, you know yeah. I mean? um, you look at your uh, Spotify for artists and your Apple for yeah. artists as well too. It'll show you the city. Yeah. And if you get, if you look on the phone, it's not going to show you as much no, as if no, you get no, on you the computer. computer. Yeah. yeah, on the on computer is where they actually let you click into like the demographic. It'll say male, female, yeah. but then you could click into the male and female and break yeah. it down further. But no, 100%. And then if they do start doing that one cent per stream, I was just like, bro, that would make it so much easier to pay for promotion. It's like if you're an artist who is really consistent with putting music out and serious about promoting, I would buy every single song, put the money right back into the next song. Like, what yeah, are you talking about? I mean, look, it's just, just in, in the state of, you know what I'm saying, music where it's going, especially like hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I say that because it's not, you know what I mean? Hip hop ain't what it was. You know what I'm saying? But in the state of where music is going or whatever, you know what I mean? You're going to have to find different ventures, you know what I'm saying, to keep your artistry afloat. Keep no, 100%. 100%. You know what, like, what are some things that you picked up outside of music that you just figured is something you needed? Well, I run my own, I run my label, so, you know what I'm saying, I get paid, and you know what I'm saying, in different aspects anyway, you know what I'm saying, like, um, right, it's just a piece of kind of everything flowing through, you know what I mean? But, you know, it goes back into the company, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a millionaire, uh, millionaire yet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, merch, uh, merch, clo uh, well, clothing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I still press up, you know what I mean? Certain, like, uh, like USBs and things, selling my shows, uh, charging for, you know what I'm saying, like appearances and certain things like that. You got this for free. <laughs> No, but um, um, services as far as like, you know what I mean, um, Caddyville USA Go, you know what I'm saying? We offer, uh, we actually offer a one-off deal where we do your whole project for a certain fee, you know what yeah. I mean? We got the beat library, you know what I'm saying? Certain producers, you know what I mean? We shoot your promo videos, yeah. we do the bio, we do um, 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 cover art, you know what I mean? And charge you a one whop, you know what I'm saying, to where if you look at it over time, you can pay, you know what I'm saying, like five, you know what I'm saying, thousands of dollars, you know what I'm saying, at least five, six, seven, ten thousand dollars, you know what I'm saying, to complete a whole project of what we get done. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? And we show, we charge you, you know what I'm saying, maybe twenty percent of what you would have. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So So yeah. overall, outside of being an artist, you decided to take the skills and the craft of helping become the artist and 
delivering it as a service to other people, yeah. helping them get their branding, their development, their studio time, their projects, their visuals, all of that together. One stop shop. That. No, 100%. One stop shop, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? So, if you out there, you an artist, you know what I mean? DM me. DM me. Get that Chuck, you know what I mean? He know how to get at me, you feel me? Um, you know, um, or, or email us at uh, caddyville524 at gmail.com. That's C-A-D-D-I-V-I-L-L-E. 524 at gmail. Let's get to work, you know what I'm saying? Stop, you know what I mean? Stop uh, going to, you know what I mean, the studio. You feel me? Where, you know, the producer or the engineer, so-called, you know what I mean, is pressing record and then getting on his phone, going to Instagram and saying, oh, that's a good take. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> you feel me? You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Stop. Stop. You know what I mean? And then after you get it done with that dude, you know what I'm saying? Having yeah, saying, having a record, you know what I mean? You feel me? Because he might not be the one to be to mix it. So now you got to get somebody to mix and master it. You feel me? Then you got to get somebody, you know what I'm saying? After that's done, you feel me? To promo it. You know what I mean? Get some visuals done. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, we do the bio. We do the cover art we do you know what i'm saying the promotion on it you feel me also you know got links with uh promote uh promotion teams such as aia you know what i mean where we can get you shows you know what i mean all in one wop you know what i'm saying i let your boy ceo stop playing with us out here 2020 know the vision know the vision see the vision <laughs> like that we're gonna wrap it up so thank you for tuning in again chuck diesel the lone wolf shout out to sake high for providing the sake Shout out to God's Favorite Jewels for providing the jewelry. And shout out to Lois Lambert Gallery slash Art Gallery Store for the little Buddha pot and my teacup. I'll link all of this below. Oh, y'all be blessed. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Yeah. You're super simple. There's traffic out this bitch today. <laughs>